Well, what if your father was a successful race car driver and he spent 10 years of his life trying to win Indy, the most important race in North America? And what if in 1960 he finally won Indy in a Watson Offy powered roadster exactly like this one? Now, you're a successful son of that father and you want to pay tribute to him and you're looking at buying that original car. Problem is, the Indianapolis Museum owns it and they're not going to sell it to you for any amount of money. Well, what Jim Rathman does is exactly what a lot of people have done with Cobras and Ferraris. He builds an exact replica. He finds an original chassis with Pernelli Jones's help. Goes back to A.J. Watson and has the car exactly duplicated to the way the car raced. And I mean right down to the motor. An offy motor is almost impossible to find. The sleeves are like hen's teeth. It's got the proper hillborne injection, the original magneto that they found out of a World War II transport. And they found the coil for the mag out of a World War II tank. And then they found the quick change rear end, a proper original Halibrand with a 486 gear. Then they found the original wheels, 18 inch rear, 16 inch fronts. They put together the whole thing with the original decals, all the original parts. This car runs and drives just like the car did in 1960 at the Indianapolis Speedway. And I'm going to get an opportunity to drive this around Moroso Park here. And this is going to be something I've been waiting for my whole life. Well, I'll tell you, every time I get to drive one of these old race cars, I realize how brave these guys were. And I mean, they were brave for a lot of reasons. One of them is they're doing 200 miles an hour in an, in an open cockpit car with not, no protection. They barely have a seat belt. Their arms are almost rubbing on the tires. And when you're doing 200 miles an hour, trust me, things are getting blown around. But then look at the interior in this thing here. You got a Model A transmission. And I mean, if that transmission lets go, your left leg is gone. The clutch is right in front of the clutch pedal. And then you've got a torque tube right beside your hip. If something comes through there, you're in a little bit more trouble. And this whole thing only weighs 1,200 pounds. There's only a little bit of aluminum between you and the road. It's a scary proposition. The interior of this car has been totally restored exactly the way the car was and then the rest of the restoration is exceptional as well. Let's have a look under the hood. It's an Offy four-cylinder, 255 cubic inches, 14 to one compression, making 400 horsepower. And if you look in here, you can see it's offset in the chassis. These cars always ran on the ovals. You can see the starter spline up here. They have to externally start these things. Well, it's got the Hillborn injection. Now this was totally gone through by Kinsler. And you know, Kinsler today is one of the guys that knows, one of the few guys that knows how to make one of these things work. And he's got this thing tweaked just right. Again, like I said, Aluminum is like brand new. The chassis is an original chassis, but it's been totally restored. They've restored the front axle, and it's just a solid axle with torsion bar suspension. You can see everything's been plated, and that's the way these cars ran back then. The brakes on this car are an original set of brakes, original set of calipers, and obviously the rotors have been hand machined. All the spindles are correct. Everything on this car is restored exactly to the way the car raced. And if you look at the body, it's a combination of fiberglass. The front nose is fiberglass, the hood's fiberglass, the rear, rear deck is fiberglass. The rest of it's all aluminum. That's all to keep the weight down. The paint job on this, Probably wasn't this nice in 1960. It is beautiful. So what's a car like this worth? Well, it probably cost at least 100,000 to replicate it between the motor, transmission, finding all the original parts, putting it together, painting it, sorting it. This car actually runs great. Well, what's it worth to Jim Rathman? It's priceless because his dad won Indy in 1960 in a car exactly like this.